Hey, what's going on, YouTube viewers, friends, family, fans, strangers? Hello, world. Welcome back to another episode of Thoughtful Thursday, shot on a Monday, a week late. Uh, it's your boy Sandy T coming to you uh, from my crib here in Tucson. And I wanted to check in because I didn't post a video last week and I gotta keep these coming. So uh, this week there will be two videos, one today and uh, one hopefully on Thursday. I know I keep dropping the ball so I'm just gonna call these Thoughtful Thursday anyway even if I don't record or post on a Thursday. Uh, today is Monday, August 23rd and uh, I have been practicing and working on music and I've got my guitar here and I'm not gonna play you a song but uh, it's been really awesome to uh, prioritize uh, music making again and uh, hopefully we'll have a lot of really cool stuff coming for you very soon uh, if I could just write some awesome music I'd be super stoked I have been trying though and uh, it's not easy to come up with a it's easy to strum chords and sing lyrics but to come up with something that really matters and means something and uh, has the standing power is hard to do so I'm trying to be um, trying to be a little bit more picky, a little bit pickier uh, than I have been in the past. Um, and also I think in the past I've just kind of um, just pumped out music because I felt like I needed to put something out uh, because it had been so long. And it feels like it's been a long time now too, but I'm trying to be really specific and uh, really, um, yeah, like I said, a little bit pickier about what I release. I want to be really excited about it so that uh, I'm eager to point people in that direction and, and to listen to it. Uh, and frankly, that's, I don't feel that way about the music I've made per se up to this point. I think there are some good moments and I'm proud of the work that I've put in, but um, in terms of stylistically and a vibe and all those things that go into, uh, I think, being a musical artist, um, I wanna be sure that I'm putting out the right signals. So, uh, I don't know, stay tuned for all that and hopefully I'll have some covers or some live videos or something coming out soon. And, uh, I hope you're all doing well. Hope this video finds you happy, healthy, and humble. And uh, this week I don't have a ton of new stuff. Some things are rolling again. Um, a choir called the Helios Ensemble that I've been in for years on and off uh, has started rolling again. And we're meeting twice a week now. Um, my band Astral Folk that I play drums in uh, is meeting up again. And we just got news of a gig. So that's super exciting. Can't wait to play some live music again. And uh, besides that, for me personally, I've not been doing a whole lot of like solo gigs or anything, but hopefully I will collect my thoughts, collect myself, and get some paid solo gigs because uh, driving for Lyft to pay the bills ain't that great. Um, it's working for now, but the goal is to not do that forever. Uh, what do I have for you today? I've got the Robo Vacuum rolling here. Let's show that to you real quick. Well, no, I won't, but you can probably hear it in the background. Uh, so the place is looking pretty clean, I uh, have more time to take care of myself, to clean my home, to call my family and my friends, and I'm more available than I've been in a long time, so I'm really happy. I feel really good, so wanted you all to know that. I hope you're feeling the same way. I hope you are optimistic about the future and that you have some projects or something fun that you're really looking forward to doing and working on. because. I think we need that. I think human beings need that. Uh, some of the realizations I've had this past week, um, just talking to people, because uh, I know people that are in nine to five jobs and I know people that are not. And I know that I'm not anymore. And it's, um, it's nice to be able to sleep. Uh, that's one of the biggest things I've noticed is that uh, just not setting an alarm in the morning and allowing myself to sleep in, I feel I feel more energetic, I feel much happier, I feel more well rested. It's just been incredible, that part. I love to be able to get some sleep. And you have to, uh, we need, we really need our sleep and that's something I've come to realize about what teaching was for me and I would never felt, sorry, let me restart that. I never felt well rested in the morning uh, on the way to work or as I was getting my clothes on or any of those things. I was always, oh God, I'm like, don't want to get up right now. I'm a little groggy. You know, my body was telling me, keep sleeping. Uh, I don't think we're made to wake up at 6 a.m. 
maybe if we were like camping or something, but when you're camping outside, the light turns dark, you don't have your phone, hopefully, and you're ready to go to bed by like eight or nine because there's no light out. There's no reason to stay up. But for us, because we have all these electronics, um, we're most of us are staying up till like 10, 11, sometimes later, looking at this blue light at these screens, and uh, we need to sleep. Uh, so that's been huge, and I can't stress enough how good it feels to actually get some rest. Uh, and I feel like I feel younger and more energetic than I have in years, it feels like. So this has been a really good thing for me. I don't know if other people operate the same way, but I know that I need my sleep. And I feel like the past five years doing that teaching job, I was like a phantom um, just because I was always tired and, and worn out by the demands of that job. Um, and I think worn out and stressed because it wasn't what I really wanted. So all these realizations are, are good and positive, I think, and, and are leading me to, to know that I made the right decision uh, leaving that job. And I think about the kids and I think about the relationships I built there and I'm, I get sad sometimes and then I remember I feel like mentally well for like the first time in a really long time and I'm able to get some sleep, which is really good for my health and yeah, I think I was kind of depressed in that job. So I'm telling a different story now. I'm making music. I am working probably equally as much, but um, not so early in the morning now. And uh, maybe not quite as, uh, it's obviously being a quote unquote cab driver is a lot less intensive than planning lessons and running music classes with kids. So anyway, that's an update on me. Hopefully I'll have some uh, original or maybe some cover tunes or something coming out on this channel, maybe some live performance. Um, and besides that, uh, that's really all I've got. I wanted to remind you all watching that uh, some of what I do on this channel is about kind of environmentalism and uh, I've been following this company 4Ocean for a really long time. I'm a member of the Clean Ocean Club, which means uh, they give you a bracelet of the month and they give you this cool packet that tells you about the corals, coral reefs. Well, this one particularly is about the it's a Hawaiian coral reef bracelet. So I'm trying real hard to be a brand ambassador for them, but I think right now I don't have enough uh, people that care about what I'm doing to uh, actually be paid to do that. But I basically already am because I'm always repping it. I got a bracelet on right now. I have like 20 just sitting in a drawer, but this company is amazing. They pull plastic out of the ocean uh, and there's a ton of it still in there. So if you can, if you're able, subscribe to be a Clean Ocean Club member. The bracelets you can give as gifts, just make sure your friends don't throw them away because that kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, if they want to throw them away, they can give them back to you. Um, these beads on here are made from recycled plastic, as far as I know, as I understand it. Either way, for each bracelet, they pull a pound of plastic out of the ocean. Uh, I would love to work for this company, but for now, I'm just going to keep supporting them, and I think you should too. Um, so there's that. Um, oh, I have, a, I have a thought just because something just came to me. You might want to look into an alternative kind of floss. I don't know about you, but when I flossed at times, I'll get plastic stuck in my teeth or something, and that floss, that like synthetic stuff, is made out of like who knows what, probably some kind of plastic. So if you get that in your teeth and it stays, your mouth will slowly digest it and you've got microplastics going into your body, which you don't want. Um, so consider an alternative form of floss, in this case, bamboo floss. I think this company is called Woo Bamboo. I think I got it probably at my natural food store or maybe on Amazon. This stuff is super thick and strong and if it gets stuck in my teeth, I have the peace of mind of knowing that it's made from a natural source. Don't have to worry about microplastics getting into my system, into this temple that is sacred and should be uh, cared for mindfully. So synthetic uh, flosses, if you can get away from that. There's also one that I think that's made out of like spider silk or something. Just look for something that's not made out of plastic. So there's my four ocean plug, my non-synthetic dental floss plug, and what am I missing? Sorry if that just made a loud noise. 
Uh, there's this company called Ten Tree that's really cool. They plant ten trees every time you buy something. It's a little bit pricey, but it's a really great company to support. So I think you should do that. And their apparel, their threads are fly as hell. Okay, so Ten Tree for Ocean and OneTreePlanted.org is a really cool one too. You can just go and donate, and they'll plant trees for you. Uh, I've donated to them as well. Uh, in the meantime, ride your bike, hydrate, drink lots of water, and take really good care of yourselves. Love yourself. Uh, you are perceiving yourself in a way that other people don't perceive you, and usually the way we perceive, usually the way we perceive ourselves is much more critical and uh, judgmental than it should be. I think we're all really hard on ourselves, so I'm working on it too. Self-love. Um, it's kind of a long-winded win. But, 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 but that's kind of a long-winded video, and I think I've said enough today. So hopefully I'll tune in back with you guys on Thursday of this week. That's only four days from now. Um, and in the meantime, hope this video finds you happy, healthy, and humble. I uh, love you all. Take care of yourselves. Till next time, peace, y'all.